guys good day welcome to obritech mechatronic kindly like subscribe and share the link to your brothers um today what we have is fuel control model for mercedes-benz cls 2020 model um the card uh, it starts but it shuts off and the customer has brought this for me to you know program it for him because he said the control model has not been coded um, and most of the fuel control model when you plug it is supposed to start but i don't know why he's saying the car does not start and it needs to be programmed so i'm going to do a cloning of this this one the new one is not here because um i asked them to bring the old one for me to check before um, they will bring the new one so this is it and our processor is um, um what do you call spc spc 5605b and we have our multimeter and we are using um cg 100x to try and do this job so i have opened the software already so we hit on programmer then um, we can go that di direct to you know st or we will type in the id over here so we click on now situation since we i know that, that this thing so i click on spc stc then we come to this session Remember our MCU over here is um, SPC. Uh, come on, um, let me get you the listing. Yeah, MCU. As you can see, our SPC is um, SPC fifty six zero five B. And what we have over here, we don't have the. 05b over here so we are going to try with this ones we have over here so we firstly click on this then we click on our pin diagram then we select remember this spc um we will count from this session from here to here the pins from this session to the end is 25 then you multiply by four which will give you 100 so it's, it's the same as this one 100 then we click on it this is the diagram so i'm going to use the multimeter to find where the um, points are or where i'll find it to find the points and so that they over there for there so that i can use it to read so stick and stay you wait for me when i'm done i will show you So we have got all the uh, points over here on this session so after um, after you know, adding the wires so so during the wires over here then i'll continue from there so this is it nice so um i have welded this thing the wires as you can see over here it's connected successfully over here so what's left is that i'm going to connect this to the programmer and then start to read um, um i don't know if it will read or not so um i'm just showing um so we are going to 
this is a diagram as you can see everything is connected over there uh, let me take my listing from there and put it in. here is too messy so i don't know it's too messy So, as you can see, it is done. My power is already connected. So, um, click on double click on the image, then we click on back. So, the sessions over here are um, three, three simple types that's my multimeter. Um, and this sessions we are going to read a d flash and p flash and the shadow um let's let's create a folder on the window um let's do corresponding um, number over there so we we click on save as um, e flash code how big the fla uh, p flash is so um uh, let me see if it will it's reading um if the p flash is big as uh, my previous video on um w222 um, um what do you call air condition this thing then uh, i need to pause in which i don't intend to make the video long well it has read the data successful so we click save as so I'm going to call them to bring the to bring the this thing um the new one um P flash code data so that I, I can then we we read the shadow as well from this session so this is the fuel model 
indicator has been right, the new model has come i'm not going to open it as you can see i don't know whether it's brand new or something I'm suspecting it's brand new and um, so i'm going to write the data onto it so this is it and in this session i'm going to remove it then place it on on the other side without using any multimeter to test the board and other stuff so so guys let me show you something a quick thing i have seen or notice is that the board the color of the board this is um dark green and this is a little bit light green and that's the only differences i have seen and it 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 it, it makes me believe that this is um, um this is not an original version of the this thing so uh, okay the, the 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 correct word for it is an aftermarket this is aftermarket so um i'm going to read the data and save it so that just for any in case situation just 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 in case any of anybody situation or there is any problem with that this thing So you could see there is no coding numbers as previous the one i, I will show you in the distance you let me finish from this side i will show you the differences so that that's different That's my multimeter. Save. Um, we click in save us. Then we click on shadow. Then read out the shadow data. Then we save that one too. So let me sh show you something um, a quick so that I'll write the data. Um, D-Flash. That's D-Flash. I've clicked on the old data. So um, let me open. I'm going to compare the two data. This is. Okay, this is the P-Flash. <laughs> Click on open. Can you see that? Have you see? Have you seen the differences? Huge difference. Um, let me show you something from this session. If you can see the coding numbers over there, the zero 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 nine zero one. Um, we are following the same trend, which is here zero 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 eight and the S S S. You can see there's no coding numbers over here. Which means um, it's, it's more like a virgin data. It's more like a virgin data. See, there is no data coming in. So that is it. Um, I guess that is the reason why the car couldn't start. It start, but it shut off along the line. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that is the reason. So I'll close this one and open the P flash data and check that one too for us all to get to know um, the differences if there is a change on P flash okay there is no changes in the P flash as you can see from this session to here there is no P flash if there is a changes you could see from this side let's go to the shadow the P flash it seems is, is, is the same as the old one 
the same towards the shadow uh, so we close the session then I click here click here then click open on D flash this is D flash click open then we click on right don't worry you just click continue so that it will overwrite the previous data because in other machines or devices it will give you the access of you know erasing the data and you know doing it the writing is successful then we click on p flash to p flash code click on p flash and we write p flash so this is it um, this is the old one and this is the new one that's the fuel model uh, how to program it guys kindly subscribe to the channel for us to you know grow big subscribe and share to and share um, so it's writing um, let me pause here okay you let's let's continue from here although the video will be long but uh, um, just stick and stay and study how to you know um a quick one um uh, my other videos i get a call from some guy or some brother who, who was complaining that um, i'm promote seems like i'm promoting um cgdi uh, brand but um truth be told um i have not taken money from anybody neither am i doing promotional purpose for this device but um i feel like you know it, it's, it's i see it as a good device and it does it does what um what i really want um i am writing the shadow this feature is currently not supported um but i, I guess the shadow there is nothing in the shadow so i think there is no need you ignore it because there is no data in the shadow um, okay, there is data because you can see the bike from here but you see, I think there is the, they are the same as we compare the previous data so let me read from the deep flash and see if our data has been written successful or not yes the data has been right um, our cloning has been successful so i'm going to desoda it then send the uh, model to the guy so that he can start the car thank you for watching and i appreciate you please subscribe share and